This is a Collector Guy's countdown of the coolest action figures of the 60s and 70s. This is my opinion. I would love to hear your list. Number three, Major Matt Mason. In the 1960s, every kid wanted to be an astronaut. That's why Mattel produced Major Matt Mason in the Man in Space series, a toy so ahead of its time that when it was introduced in 1966, it had beat Neil Armstrong to the moon by three years. Meet Major Matt Mason, Mattel's man in space, and the bravest astronaut yet. He lives on the moon. We may all be there soon. And he gets around with a jet. Until Sergeant Storm in his red uniform, Major Matt worked all alone. Now, together, they face the dangers of space and seek to learn the unknown. Matt's suit and accessories were inspired by early designs for actual space exploration. In fact, Mattel's VP of R&D was a former Raytheon engineer named Jack Ryan. This posable six-inch figure is what's called a bendy. It's rubber formed over a wire frame, which means it's not built for the long haul. But then again, it originally sold for only a couple bucks. The Man in Space team was Major Matt Mason, Sergeant Storm, radiology scientist Doug Davis, and rocket scientist Jeff Long. As interest in the space program faded, the series would move into more science fiction by adding a few alien characters. There was Callisto, Matt's friend from Jupiter with a transparent green head. Captain Laser was another friendly alien. As you can see here, he was much larger than Matt, which has led to speculation that this figure was originally part of another toy line. And the super cool and now super hard to find Scorpio. This figure is particularly valuable, which breaks my heart because I had him as a kid and I don't have him now. Like a lot of the other toys at the time, the money wasn't made in the figures, the money was made with all the accessories. And Major Matt Mason was no different. There are a lot of cool accessories with this line. There was the space bubble here, which looked like a hamster ball. You could tow it with one of the vehicles of the series, like this Unitread hauler. It was cool because when it spun, the figure inside would stay upright. There's this moon suit, which was based on concept drawings for a possible real space suit. There was the three foot tall multi-level space station. Matt's headquarters complete with lighted space beacon. And my favorite right here, the space crawler, which claimed it could crawl over anything and land on his feet. So now 50 years later, we're gonna put those claims to the test. What we have here is the crawler and a little bit of rough stretch in my backyard. I'm just going to see if it truly can crawl over anything. And let's turn this thing on probably the first time in decades. And let's see how it goes. Kind of ran out of steam there toward the end, but oh no, not too bad for a toy this old. Mattel stopped production here on Major Matt Mason in 1970. You can still find these on eBay, of course, but with this fragile wireframe, it's harder to find the ones that can still hold a pose. And there you have it, Major Matt Mason, number three on my list of the top five coolest action figures of the 60s and 70s. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and please subscribe to see more Collector Guy videos. And always remember, surround yourself with what you love.